वेलकम टू द क्लिनिकल सिनारियोज एंड दिस इज योर केस नंबर थर्टी सिक्स हेव वी हैव अ सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन मैन कमिंग टू द ऑफिस फॉर द एनुअल चेकअप ही इज अ नोन डायबिटिक एंड हाइपर टेंसिव एंड हिज मेडिकेशन इंक्लूड लिजनोप्रिल एंड एटीनोलॉल सो अ सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स एल्डरली मैन नोन हिस्ट्री ऑफ and diabetes and hypertension he is taking the drugs also for it now his vitals are normal examination of his fundus reveals the cupping of the optic disc along with this visual field examination reveals the constricted peripheral vision what is the most likely diagnosis the options are diabetic retinopathy closed angle glaucoma macular degeneration or primary open angle glaucoma now before you uh, reach to the right answer if you look at option number 1 diabetic retinopathy now you know that the most important factor for the diabetic retinopathy is the duration right and uh, it should be at least more than 10 years so this person is a known case of diabetes and hypertension so he bears a, a huge risk of having a diabetic retinopathy but if you look at the signs and the findings that they have given they have not given something which is suggestive of the diabetic retinopathy now if i am uh, diagnosing the diabetic retinopathy i should have the micro aneurysms i should have the hemorrhages the deep hemorrhages dot and blot hemorrhages i should have the hard exudates then i should have the intraretinal microvascular abnormalities some venous changes that might go into the pdr pdr may i will have the neovascularization so obviously those things are not given they have given you the cupping of the optic disc as well as the constricted peripheral vision so it is not a case of diabetic retinopathy that is very very clear now if you look at the option number b closed angle glaucoma angle closure glaucoma now angle closure glaucoma will always lead to the sudden painful sudden painful diminution of vision this patient is not presenting with sudden painful diminution of vision this is something that will uh, bring the patient to the casualty right it is an ophthalmic emergency while well, this patient is just coming for for the annual checkup so this is not a sudden problem not the acute onset so obviously it is not a angle closure glaucoma now we have macular degeneration and we have primary open angle glaucoma now at a age of 75 obviously we can have armd also armd can also be there macular degeneration is a possibility but if it is a macular degeneration i should have the central loss of vision macula will affect the central loss now this patient is having peripheral vision constriction of the peripheral field that means it is not the macular degeneration so by exclusion also why i do this so that you gain the confidence that even by excluding the wrong options you can reach to the right options and that right option here is primary open angle glaucoma now if you see other way around what happens in primary open angle glaucoma this is a condition which is also called as chronic simple chronic simple glaucoma chronic simple glaucoma simple there is no congestion right so here the patient will present with the gradual painless progressive gradual painless progressive diminution of vision will be there this patient is presenting with the painless diminution of vision it is progressive right and what are the risk factors we have got uh, more than 60 years of age 
equal in males and females then we have got lot of risk factors like i have diabetes uh, hypertension then we have the thyrotoxicosis thyrotoxicosis is a important risk factor and diabetes and hypertension both are present here 60 years male is present so there are lot of risk factors which are present in this patient and along with this a triad should be there so the patient should have the raised intraocular pressure along with the optic disc changes and the third will be the visual field defects now they have not mentioned anything about the intraocular pressure but certainly they have given you optic disc changes as well as the visual field defects and what is the most important optic disc change the most important optic disc change is the cupping i think cupping is the very very specific sign that you are getting in the cases of glaucoma the cupping that you are getting in optic disc right cap cavernous optic atrophy what is the type of optic atrophy we get we get the cavernous type of optic atrophy along with this we get the visual field defects and you know what are the visual field defects we get the isopter contractions first there is a constriction of the isopters uh, do you know what are the isopters so something like this we have the isopters which represent uh, the visual field okay and slowly and gradually what is happening these isopters are coming closer and closer they are constricting like anything so these are the isopters so there is constriction of these isopters and slowly and gradually this hole goes and only the central vision will be left this will be called as a tunnel vision or the tubular vision so they have given you optic disc changes they have given you visual field defects they have given you important risk factors diabetes and hypertension the age also it can occur equally in males and females emails there is no emergency you know he is just come for the annual checkup and the one thing that they have not mentioned but it is present that this patient is certainly having diminution of vision because there is a constriction of peripheral field so if there is a constriction obviously this patient must be having diminution of vision but he is not having any such complaint maybe he not he is not indulged in any active work so that he does not require much of the vision only the central vision is also working fine for him that is why he is not complaining he has just come for the annual checkup but he is having diminution of vision also he is having optic disc changes also visual field defects he is a diabetic and hypertension and all these things are going towards your diagnosis of primary open angle glaucoma so i think the diagnosis is pretty clear and you know more than the topic itself i want you to learn that approach or the clinical skill for solving that question you know the topic you know you can refer to your notes but that approach you cannot uh, and learn from your notes that uh, approach has to be learned by the practice and these clinical cases so when you read them when you see them again and again try to solve the questions it is just like solving the questions in the opd you know nothing can actually replace if you are uh, there posted in the clinics but this is an attempt to give you some portion of that clinical exposure which is missing in this pandemic crisis so i hope you have understood this question any of your um, queries or doubts related to the topic or any academic thing you can always ping me on any of the social media platforms and um, you can refer to any of these social media platforms you can um, subscribe to my youtube channel as well as telegram channel so that you can uh, get the notifications of the any latest videos which are uploaded i'm trying to upload each case uh, daily so that you feel like the same uh, exposure of your clinical postings you can follow me on the insta and you can be a family of my facebook uh, group as well as the telegram group and take the advantage of the daily quizzes thank you and happy ophthalmology